he just says we got hit we got a massive hit with the recent core update yep sounds about right and then let me pull up something on ahrefs for you guys to look at while we audit stuff since we can't really show it to you and yeah it is a casino site so a little bit of a more competitive and black hat niche yeah, they got hit a while back uh, I yeah. guess they got hit multiple times May All right, here's a picture for y'all to look at. Put off the screen for you. Taking a look, DR40, 290 referring domains. So the backlink, you know, DR40 with 290 referring domains, actually pretty good. You know, it's kind of a signal of um, just looking at very quickly. You would say, oh, their links are probably pretty decent, pretty good. But they might not be. We have to look in a little bit deeper. We can't just trust the numbers. Um, Core Organic Keywords, 612. Do you see how big their site is? Not yet, no. Uh, 237 pages indexed. So, not the biggest site. wonder if anything got de-indexed, but... Yeah, it looks like they're down to like 300 traffic now. They were up at what? Over 10k? 11? Something like that. Um, yeah, definitely took quite a couple hits there. Um, I'm gonna look at anchors real quick, I guess. Have you looked at anything yet? Yeah, I'm looking through it right now, trying to see if anything hits me, you know, glaringly, especially for like a casino website. But see, right already in the anchors, you see these like really super unnatural overused anchors have been used 14 times, 13 times, 11 times, 11, 10. Um, you know, it's got the got brand, the brand and URL right up at the top, which is nice to see. But then you got all this unnatural stuff that's like really weird. It has like symbols in it and stuff too, and just. They've been repeated a lot. Definitely don't like to see that. Um, Symbols a lot you see for like foreign websites if they've got like accents or stuff that well, they're commonly uh, used. It's not though. It's like the oh. play symbol and it's all written in English and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, these backlinks are kind of interesting too. Um, I'm diving into some of them trying to figure out exactly what kind of links they are like um, you know you see some of these of PBNs. Um, yeah that's kind of what it looked like but I don't think they are I could be wrong but I think they're something else um, but anyhow, yeah, you know, there, there's something... What, you think, like, safe links or something? Yeah, um, maybe. Um, but anyhow, uh, yeah, there's something going... going on here that seems um, just a little off. There's a whole lot of homepage links hitting this site. <laughs> yeah. For sure. It's an extremely unnatural backlink profile. I, I actually don't. I'm very inexperienced with the casino niche, so I don't even really know what flies. Um, what, what do you think about the backlink profile? Just looking at it real quick. Like, what do you think about as far as the, you know, how other casino sites are? That's the thing. I'm like, it doesn't are. look that spammy to me, but at the same time, it definitely doesn't look natural, right? Um, so if it was a normal site, I would say, oh my God, you need, yeah. this is not good. But I think actually like a lot of it has to do with the only authority sites are these homepage links for the most part. Like I'm tr and then you, there's like blog spots, these inner page links that I'm going through um, are mainly just spammy, low quality directory kind of aggregator kind of stuff. Um, so you know, if we think about it, we've got these low quality pillow style links, and then we've got a bunch of homepage 
contextual backlinks um, hitting the site. So automatically there, I think things look a bit unnatural. Like I don't think there's much guest posting, niche edit, that kind of link um, hitting this particular asset. Um, yeah. Could be wrong. I mean, you know, that's just a quick dive, but I don't see anything like that. No. So those are the two link types that I'm mainly looking at and aspects to the link profile. And then like Chris said, you know, the anchors, um, while they're not the spammiest casino anchors I've ever seen, they are, there's just something here that, uh, you know, it screams manipulation. Um, so, you know, I don't know if they preface that they've got this in search console or anything, they can see if there's any kind of penalty. Um, but from a backlinking perspective, you know, uh, I would switch things up. I would prod with higher authority links, niche edits, guest posts, and um, see if that can't start helping the situation a little bit. Um, I would also go ahead and, I guess, look in competitive uh, SERPs, you know, that you want to rank for, that you did have rankings and where you lost out and see, you know, what's going on there. Um, that you're either missing or that they're beating you out with. Um, and as far as the on-page goes, I mean, it looks like so many of these just, uh, <laughs> they. I mean, all, all the casino kind of review sites, you know, they all kind of look and feel the same. So to me... Yeah, it's hard um, for me. It's really hard you know, to analyze this from, for me. Um, as far as doing an audit. Yeah, I think, you know, um, here, do we know any of the keywords he's going after? Let's see here. I mean, you could look at like... Just pick up a competitor or lost keyword. I'm going to go and like measure it. When was he ranking well? Uh, let's say in May. Um, so yeah. So just compare the keywords now with... Um, when was May? How many months ago was that? Five months ago, six months ago, we'll just say previous six months. Yeah, right. Um, I mean, he, he lost everything, though. I mean, I don't yeah. think it's even worth, you know. 8,000 down to 400. So it's like a, um, you know, it's like a, it's like a site-wide thing for sure. Yeah, I wish if I had, I feel like if I had more data from before his crash would be a little bit easier to look at the SERPs that he really missed out in. Which because looking yeah. at just competitors, um, I guess I'll check their like his main competitor. Their website set up literally exactly the same as his. <laughs> Um, now looking, so this is their, according to AREFs, their biggest competitor, um, and they have less DR than his site. They have about half the referring domains, but they're just now taking off in the SERPs. Um, what do the backlinks look like? Where, yeah, I'm about to look. Um... So they're just now taking off. Um, it's a pretty new, it's been around for a while, but it looks like they weren't doing anything with it. 
and they might still be doing nothing with it. See, their um, backlinks are <laughs> the same. You know, it's just like when when I think about casino, this is like what I think about happening. It's like you you just you just spam the site out with all the stuff that they're doing. You rank for a while, then you get popped eventually. <laughs> Like how like I don't even think, yeah, I don't which websites? do casino sites like even like last forever or is this, is this just part of the game well, they eventually just get hit hard yeah I mean I would think you move on to the next one you know like the main poker houses and stuff with like countless amounts of money behind them yeah I feel like a, a problem, more like legitimate one these review you know? websites yeah I I I I've worked on quite a lot over the years and I don't know if any of them are you know, remaining, like, <laughs> remain standing. I even built one one time, and it didn't last very long. And I did end up spamming it out to, uh, because I kind of just lost hopes for it and then just decided to burn it um, and see if that wouldn't do something, and it, it didn't. Um, but, uh, you know, if I look at this website, in the backlink profile, I'll see more inner page links. And then I'll open up some of these inner page links. And he's got a couple of, you know, similar homepage. Well, no, his homepage links are much more natural. Um, and something else I wasn't looking at in regards to the website we're auditing was... Natu more natural in what way? Um, like he's supposed to have a link there on some... His like, anchors look more... His anchors... The competitors' anchors don't look as crazy either. Yeah, it's uh, and you know then there's these like kind of uh, blog posts, um, links and stuff like that. Like you know, it's just a cut above. It's still spammy, as is the case in a bunch of um, yeah. casino niche. But he's got the links that you're missing, which are the higher authority. You know, just the tie the room together links. Um, and then on top of that. Um, let me check one more thing with your site that I didn't look at earlier. Yeah, he does actually have some kind of more normal links in there. But I mean, he's still got a ton of these homepage links. Um, where are you? Uh huh. Yeah, it's pretty interesting because with a bunch of these homepage links that you got here, um, you know, it's showing that they're crawlable links and that they get picked up by bots, but that they're hidden on the page. Um, <laughs> oh, it's one of those. And uh, they're in the yeah. source code. So. Yeah. You know, you've got, I don't know how many of these types of links, I don't know what they are, <laughs> um, but you got mm. them in here, and uh, they definitely don't look natural, right? Um, Google knows what a hidden link um, looks like. You know, it's an old game that's been played. Um, so, you know, hidden links across a large portion of... That's a big old footprint. Profile, it's probably, like a big probably foot not footprint. The, yeah. Um, you know, even if you're figuring out, you know, links like this, then um, you've got to diversify the link profile, right? So still, um, anyhow, uh, you know, I think like we've gone over it. A lot of this, I think, has to do with the backlink profile that you've built. Um, if I was to prod at it, I'd prod with higher authority um types of links to see if i couldn't get it sending up um and maybe a blast uh, yeah, of like these... barrage maybe a, a big blast of low authority links um but natural links you know like guest posts or niche edits to um diversify things up a bit first yeah um yeah you could do that what do you um, think about removing I, you know, all I... the uh the hidden home page Yeah, I would links. probably see about doing that over time. Or you don't want to do it all at once. Do you remove them or um, do you disavow them? No, I wouldn't disavow them. Um, no, just uh, if worse comes to worse and you prod with links, um, then maybe look into removing these. Um, but slowly, slowly over time, not all at once. 
And to um, see, if, yeah, he he does have 159,000 backlinks for 290 referring domains. That can happen when you got these like big sites and they put in like the footer, the sidebar, or whatever. I'm sure these like hidden. A lot of it. He's hidden. A lot of links. it has to do with these links that he's got here. <laughs> yeah. That um, the way they act, he's figured out a way to order a site-wide link. Um, you know, on some of these massive sites um and they're hidden and uh anyhow it's i'm willing to bet that a lot of this is why you've been um hit so he's even more spammy than the other spammy guys <laughs> he wins the prize remember everybody <laughs> we might not be your favorite seos if you are a black hat seo and that's like you love the spammy stuff um, yeah. Because we preach longevity and we don't use those types of tactics. Um, but this is, you know, this is what kind of happens when you look for those kinds of um, moves is uh, typically at some point in time you get popped. Um, that's in, you know, most niches, even if some of these niches are more spammy in general, um, you know, there's still a good way to build and then a spammy way to build, um, you know, so diversify things, um, keep your variables very random. How long did he last for? Um, Looks like he had, he had a good time for about, uh, five or six months. Mm hmm Which in casino niche could be very profitable, especially if you didn't spend a lot of money on, you know, this entire campaign. Um, I'm but, assuming the, the, um, that spam annoying. blast, it, I mean... I don't know. I'm just assuming he didn't really pay that much for those links. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, just being this kind of more like black hat spam blast type thing. Um, I'm assuming the the price is not quite as high as like you know these super high authority like uh, you know guest post or editorial link type things can end up costing you. You know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't, we don't. I don't know. And yeah, you know, we we try to be a little bit honest with you. I'm I'm definitely not well versed in the casino niche at all. Um, so yeah, you might want to ask some more casino guys about this kind of thing that are more hands on on day to day with this type of stuff. Um, because yeah, I, I don't. You know, if seeing seeing this and like advising like what to do. You know, like Nick was saying, you know, trying to build some good links to kind of counter things out or whatever. But my first instinct is just to burn it down, <laughs> burn it to the ground and start over. Because I don't know if this thing will recover. But it's the casino niche. So I'm not an expert. Maybe these kinds of things happen often and you can recover them, even though it's just how it's so gnarly what's going on in there. Um, but yeah, hopefully. Just remember, uh, you hopefully. can always prod, right? Like... Don't go out with a huge budget, but prod with a, you know, five hundred dollar budget per month, and just see if you can't get that ranking graph doing something. Um, if not, then you alter other variables, right? Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the links below for more info on this topic, as well as other cool stuff like SEO case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks, and happy ranking.